Hey guys, Sissa here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial of how to play Millhouse and Mana Storm. If you enjoy this tutorial or my other videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I very much appreciate it. All right, so Millhouse Mana Storm, I would say, is one of the most challenging characters to play. I love him. He's great. And he thrives with players who can really optimize their economy. Economy is so important. And I think at lower level MMRs, I see a lack of economy optimization. So that's why he might be hard for you to play. So let's talk about it. On turn one, you're looking to buy a token and What's sell a token and get a second partner? card. Or you're looking to buy a deck swabby, sell the deck swabby and buy a better card. This will allow you to level on turn two so that you can be on tier two with everyone else on turn three with five gold. And then on five gold, you can buy three two drops, especially if you just sell off your one drop or you can buy a token, sell and buy two two drops. By six gold, you should have a full board. And then on seven gold, you can buy one minion level. And then on eight gold, you might consider even leveling again, especially if your shop you are offered is trash. Let's talk about trash, by the way. So basically with Millhouse, one of the things you want to look to do is if a shop is good, if you see a lot of good minions in a shop, you want to buy everything in the shop. And if a shop is bad, then you might want to take that time to level. Now, let's say that you've been playing really weak and, and you need to get better then yes you need to start buying out the shop everything that looks better than something on your board you should be buying and you need to get better so that you can keep greed leveling but if the shop is trash don't roll just level that's how you need to spend your economy in that turn because since you're leveling then you should be getting to the tier fours or something like that and have those better opportunities to get better the next turn if you can collect pairs, I definitely would because it allows you to triple into Caligos better. But you have to be willing to let go of crappy pairs when you are losing. So if you have a pair of alley cats on your board and it's turn eight gold or something like that, you're, it's probably time to get rid of it because your opponents are going to be stronger than you. So holding pairs when you can and if you uh, are offered that triple, you can either buy it and hold it in your hand until you can level to tier five or you can freeze the board and figure out a way to kind of get there. If you have a spare two gold at the end with Millhouse, remember this hero is all about taking care of your economy. Using that last two gold to roll is never the option. It's best to buy a minion and hold it in your hand and look, think of it as a gold in your hand. Um, the best minions to do this with is tokens uh deck swabby because that allows you to level faster free dealing gambler is something that you actually always buy because it sells for three gold and you only bought it for two so it adds a gold to your economy um and then lastly a battle cry minion because it's basically a one mana or one gold buff to your board Another minion I like to always buy when I'm playing uh, Mill House, especially if I don't have a Caligos established yet, is Shifter Zerus. Shifter Zerus is a only a two gold investment into anything, and in other heroes, he's is, Shifter Zerus is kind of harder to purchase because it is a full three gold. But since it's only two gold investment, great option is to buy every Zerus you see. So let's talk about an overall game plan with Millhouse. My favorite game plan is to find pairs. And once you get to that triple, you want to triple into Caligos. That is a six drop. So if you find a very, very, very early triple, you could buy it and just keep it in your hand until you can level to tier five and then play it later. That's one trick. Another trick if you're playing well is just to just keep freezing it on the board and trying to power level to get to the early Caligos. Let's talk about why I like Caligos with Millhouse. Basically with Millhouse, it's very hard to get a very specific build because you can't roll very well for minions. You have to kind of take what you're offered. And so with Caligos, you just need to buy battle cries and it costs one gold to boost your board because you buy it for two and you sell it for one. So therefore it costs one gold and you just have to find a battle cry. Well, there's tons of battle cries. You don't have to be picky or choosy. So that's why Caligos is great. 
And you can kind of take that and apply it to other builds you can do with Caligos. So for example, you could do a rabid Soralus build where every time you buy a death rattle, your rabbits get boosted. Something like that. Something where it's kind of easy to find stuff that would boost the board. So let's say you whiff on your Caligos. Now what? Well, hopefully there's an Amalgadon there. Because if you hit land an Amalgadon, well then any Balakai you buy can basically buff that Amalgadon and you can focus on going into Menagerie, finding a brand or a light thing, and then just being able to purchase every single battle cry you find because most of them will, will boost something on your board and for only one gold each. So builds you want to stay away from for Millhouse is something where you need to find specific pieces. So for example, if you think about the Macaw Beast, strategy where you need to find golden macaw you need to find golden you need to find barons you need to find beasts that don't have death rattles that's going to be very challenging because it's very very specific and so you can't really roll that much with millhouse so i would stay away from builds like this so how do we get to the slant game build that we really want with millhouse well the basic gist of it is that in the early game millhouse is going to be able to flood the board with early two drops and one drop and therefore you have early game power and you shouldn't be losing in the early game and then you need to greed level and get to that late game faster than anyone else i hope this guide was helpful if you have any more questions on how to play millhouse make sure you leave a question in the comments also let me know what other heroes you'd like to see guides for and i hope you enjoy the rest of the game have a good day i personally think that like Three is plenty. And, uh, I'm just gonna keep it at three. Can you make a hero guy from Millhouse? I watched streamers play him, but I still stuck with him. I need to. He's up. Yeah, he's definitely high on my list of ones I need to make a hero guide for. Wow, you six percenter. Welcome back. Ooh, that's a Caligos. It's right there. Ellie? Caligos. I'll take Nadina. I'll take it because I have this. That's what I would have picked. A good tactical choice. It's good to get some minions in play. Um, uh, there's a lot of Balakras over there. One, two, three. I wonder if I keep the taunt over the whelp. Probably should in case of cleave. Well, he doesn't have cleave though. I'll just find taunt. Algodon, I do. A Maggi Poo. What's your favorite seasonal coffee? Why is it PSL? It's actually not PSL. And sadly, my favorite seasonal coffee happens at the same season as PSL. So I never get PSLs. For those who don't know, that means pumpkin spice latte. I never order pumpkin spice lattes because they're out at the same time as the salted caramel. And salted caramel is better than the pumpkin. And that's just a fact. Just a fact. I'm not lucky chat. I'm not lucky chat. I'm not lucky chat. I'm not lucky chat. I'm not. 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 Don't let others tell you I'm lucky. Don't listen to them. Calm 
Caramel, caramel, caramel. We've talked about this before. I say caramel. But I prefer when people say caramel. I prefer the pronunciation caramel. Still too hot here in Florida for any hot beverage. Oh, I get them. I get them iced always. Always iced. I'm doing good. Ken, what are you doing? Bougie. Bougie, bougie, bougie. I need to train my brain to say caramel since I prefer it pronounced that way. Caramel. Caramel. You're good at this. Those aren't battle cries. What the flip game? Deckard? The light dim, but we fight. Deck. <laughs> What's up, Enrique? How are you? Both into six Eliza's. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. Bunny? Talking? I am. Can you hear me? Don't eat fingers. Don't tell me what I can and can't eat, Mom. You're not my real mom. day just to like celebrate her i'll like i'll dress like her and do my makeup like her sound good plan really pulled their weight it's not the strongest but it'll fight hard i like where you're going with this you're down a minion and up a goal defensive systems online Cries, you dummies. Another satisfied customer. Ha! You want a tussle? Better hire a recruit while you can. How did I get a Caligos? I asked for one really nicely. I said, my game, can you please give me Caligos?
you agree with Crypt that in Battlegrounds the damage taken is too much? There's some frustrating turns where you could be like, I, I don't know what the frick to do. That's quite the army you're building, friend. Yeah, I think that this game has a good time length. I think so other auto battlers are too long. The These minions so this is has more of the blizzard aspect of the slightly more casual feel. So therefore, it's not as long. If you took less damage, the games would be a lot longer. Um, but I do understand it's tilting when there's what's called token damage. Where, for example, um, the boat could proc three six drops and you just die to it. six, 12, 18 plus whatever they're at, which is probably five so 23 out of nowhere where they could have popped three, one drops. So I think the frustration is the, um, that RNG aspect. So that's why they changed Nat Pagel, right? Nat Pagel used to be. <laughs> Oh my god. Countered me. What do I do? The battle is really raging out there. I need taunt. This might have to be my taunt. <laughs> Just attack first. You scam me. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Another satisfied. You got this. You're way ahead. We fixed it. Major APM fail. Fine. Fine. It was a major APM fail. Sure. But I won. So who the F cares? <laughs> Fine. I will give you some. too long to think of how to counter it without panicking. What does that mean? Size matters, so people can check out what size they are by typing the command size. See if they're chonkers or dinkers or average or growers or showers.